Northwest Territories, our economy right now, the private sector economy is really run from the mineral resource sector and has been uh, for years. We've had gold mining, diamond mining, but the critical mineral sector right now with what's happening in the geopolitical space, the interest that's coming in on the markets and, and the need for green energy and transitional uh, opportunities, with all of those things coming together, we're realizing that there's actually already existing data showing that we have these critical minerals and metals ready, waiting, waiting to go, waiting to be discovered. So it's, it's timing is actually a big part of our story right now. We're in a transition to new technologies, including e-mobility or electric mobility. And cobalt, which is the dominant metal in our deposit, is one of the essential ingredients in the cathodes of lithium ion batteries. We've been working in the Northwest Territories now for about 30 years. We have a very exciting development project, which is uh, cobalt, gold, bismuth, and copper. It's at the development stage and uh, very focused on critical minerals. In the Northwest Territories, the government is very accessible. You're able to go in and speak with them quite readily, and they're very supportive. They see uh, further mine development as a benefit. They're very interested in advancing projects, and so we're working side by side, and uh, it's a great partnership. The tremendous interest in lithium that's happening all around Yellowknife right now, uh, they haven't held back the fact that there's the first rare earth element mine operating in the Northwest Territories with Nechalacho right now. You can't really talk about the Northwest Territories without talking about geological endowment. With diverse geology, with different kinds of, uh, of terrains that can host virtually any mineral. By bringing the three territories together, it enables us to market to a larger audience as a combined front. In the Northwest Territories, we've been doing things differently for a long time and not realizing the importance and the value and the uniqueness of it. The rest of the world right now, as we get into ESG and you add an I for Indigenous, you add that I in and then you start to say, well, how can we do differently? What are the possibilities? It's a very powerful way of doing things, but it's how we're doing things in the North and it's gonna make for better projects in the end.